What's up everyone? I'm Steph. And I'm Kyle. And we just got back from Lowe's because we needed a brand new toilet ring. But we're not here to do an unboxing of a toilet ring. When we got home from Lowe's, all of these boxes were on our front porch. You guessed it. These boxes are full of mystery hand-me-downs for our kids. And we're going to do an unboxing for you. So let's jump in. First things first, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today's video is sponsored by St. Vinny's because anything we don't need or want from these boxes, we'll take there. And today's hand-me-downs are being provided by my colleague, Denise. And I think Denise is under the impression that we neglect our children because we have so many of them. And because one time she saw us out in public and we were a hot mess. Anyways, Denise and her husband Dave have a few grandchildren who have grown out of their clothes, but I don't remember the specifics. So the contents in these boxes truly are a mystery. So I don't know if there'll be anything we need. And what do we need again? We need dress pants and dress shoes for the boys. Dress pants would be gold. <gasps> and Cecilia could use a new pair of black flats because the hand-me-downs from your sister are getting a bit too small. Now, this box is pretty heavy, so there's a good chance there might be some shoes in here. Yeah, and from the sound of it, there's something solid in this box as well. Also, Andrew could use a new size 8 winter coat because the one we used to have didn't quite make it past Peter. All right, let's get in there. Drum roll, please. First item is, oh my gosh, you guys. I just, I can't even, I just can't. The... New shoes. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> I don't even know if these are the right size, and quite honestly, it doesn't even matter. Not only is this going to save us money, but it's also going to save me a trip to the store for the kids to try on shoes, which I dread. <laughs> Off to a great start. All right, on to the second item. All right, and next we have a black t-shirt, and on the front is, uh, it's a plain black t-shirt. It's it's a nice plain black t-shirt. Really nice. um, it would have cost us $5. At least. So far, so good. Okay, next item. Another black t-shirt, and another plain black t-shirt, and another. Another one. A few more black t-shirts. Another one. Another one. Nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, in total, there were a dozen plain black t-shirts. You know, perhaps Denise thought our entire family was gonna be working backstage in an upcoming theater production. <laughs> we'll keep one. But again, this is all very thoughtful of Denise. So nice. Yeah. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yes. Yes. This was what I was talking oh, about. Are those dress pants? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Oh, I love you. And I'm not even seeing any holes. These pants are perfect. Jonathan, come try these pants on. You know, at this point, it doesn't matter what else is in this box. This box is a winner. Okay. The label is a little misleading. Uh, hey, Peter. Why don't you come try on these pants? Great, you'll grow into those. Now dress pants usually only cost $20, but the real challenge is finding a pair that actually fits that's in stock. You need to make sure you thank Denise at work on Monday. Oh, absolutely. Now let's see what other treasures we have in here. Huh. What is it? It's a book, a parenting book, I think. You're out of control and your kids are too. A parenting guide for the hopeless. Hmm, there's something in it. A receipt. She got this this morning. Um, maybe she meant to give it to someone else? No, no, it's for us. She wrote on the inside cover, Dear Kyle and Steph, it's probably too late. Cordially, Denise. Huh. Well, um... It's the thought that counts. Yes. It's the thought. <laughs> <laughs> it 
So next item. Soap and children's shampoo. Helmet. Safety doorknob covers. Safety cabinet locks. Four pack. Safety covers for the stove handles. First aid kit. What did you tell Denise about us? I mean, what does she think our house is like? I don't know, we don't talk much. She just saw us out in public that one time. I mean, I told everyone at work when Jonathan broke his arm and when Joey covered himself with your nail polish, but that's it. <sighs> Clearly, she thinks our kids are dirty and dangerous. They are. Which reminds me, when's the last time we gave our kids a bath? Never mind. The point is, it's the thought that counts. Yes, you're, you're right. We need to look at these boxes not as being full of items, but as being full of good intentions. Yes. And last but not least, we have what appears to be a restraining harness that can double as a handcuff leash. I can talk to Denise on Monday. No, I've actually kind of been wanting one of those. Turn me over. Thanks, Denise. <laughs>